Well, good morning or good afternoon to everybody, uh, depending on when you're watching this. I want to talk to you about our plan to reopen, and I thought that maybe a video might work a little bit better than trying to write something out. Um, we are not planning to meet this coming Sunday. Um, we're going to wait, at least at this point, we're hoping to start things back up on May 17th. And we will be live streaming for those who will choose not to come for one reason or another. But for those who are eager to attend, and I know that there are a number of you, uh, well, you need to know that there's going to be some conditions. And they may be more than what you are willing to put up with. Uh, and so live streaming might be an option that you'll want to be considering. Now, in the next couple of days, we'll be sending out an email to everyone with uh, more of the specifics regarding May 17th. And so that we can plan for it, we need uh, you to let us know your intentions. And we have provided an online form for that purpose, which will be part of that email. We expect that the conditions on our first Sunday back will be uh, a bit too stringent for some and perhaps not stringent enough for others. And so we need to know how to plan, what to expect, and once you see all that is involved, then you can let us know uh, what you are intending. And you can do that simply by completing the questionnaire that will be coming your way. Now, it's obviously going to take a while before things return to normal. The service on May 17th and the weeks that follow, at least for a while, they're going to be shorter. Uh, there'll be no Sunday school classes, staff nursery, uh, we're asking people not to exchange handshakes or hugs, and we'll be wearing uh, face coverings, at least for some of the time. And we will follow the policy that the governor has imposed on restaurants and retail stores, 50% capacity of our occupancy, which, which probably means more than one morning service, which itself, of course, is not very appealing. Uh, there are other rules and guidelines and restrictions, and again, you'll be getting all that soon by email. You can look that over and consider what you want to do. Now, just a quick word on face coverings. Um, you should know that there's been no shortage of debate and discussion on this, and hopefully this requirement uh, is temporary. Well, we know it's temporary. We just don't know how long that will go. First, they don't need to be surgical masks. All we are looking for here is that you cover up your mouth and nose. A simple bandana from the dollar store will do the trick. And if not, then it, these things are easy to make with a piece of cloth and a couple rubber bands. And we won't have to wear them the whole time. Uh, when we come in, uh, when we sing, and when we leave. And when we are not wearing them, you will be expected to have a handkerchief to cover up any sneezing or coughing. So you're going to have to be prepared and bring one of those with you. And if you do sneeze or cough and you don't use a handkerchief, well, it's not going to be, it will not be very pretty. We will peacefully and nonviolently throw a large plastic bag around you and peacefully and nonviolently hurl you into the dumpster and leave you there. And we will lock it. And so bring your handkerchief. But there's more here than just uh, face coverings, though that is probably the most controversial requirement. Uh, there are, will be other rules and guidelines as well that deal with Sunday school, nursery, availability of coffee, using the water fountain, restricting the number of people in a restroom at a given time, uh, the close supervision of children, uh, the practice of the Lord's Supper, uh, how we take up the offering, you know, how we treat doorknobs, and so much more. Uh, the objective, of course, is to limit the touching of high contact areas and limit one-on-one -on -one contact between people. And that's, you know, kind of hard to do in a restaurant, and it's especially hard to do at a church. Now, if you have been exposed to someone with COVID-19, and I don't know if anyone in our church has, but if so, stay home. If you are sick, stay home. If you are in a high-risk group, well, we would encourage you to stay home, but um, when it comes down to it, we will let you in. Uh, things are just going to be a whole lot different for a while, and as I'm finding out, any guidelines we try to implement will be the subject of no small amount of critique and complaint. Again, it's going to be too rigid for some, too lax for others. The objective, of course, 
is to gradually phase out these restrictions. Hopefully the service on May 24th will be a little more agreeable than the one on the 17th, and the one on the 31st will be more relaxed than the one on the 24th, and so on. We can't really say, and so we're just going to have to take this a week at a time. Um, I'm somewhat optimistic, but Dr. Francis thinks it won't be until late June before we can relax the rules to any significant degree. And, and given that she has a few more years of medical training than I do, and a few more years of medical experience than I do, it might be better to go with what she is saying. Now, if we do end up having multiple services, which is likely, then we will need to administer that accordingly. Um, if the goal, for instance, is to limit the number of people to, say, 80, then we just can't say, well, take your pick. We're going to have a service at 9 o'clock and another at 11. I mean, what if 10 people show up at 9 and 130 people show up at 11? And so we'll have to provide a way for everyone to make an online reservation. And that's what, that's what we'll be doing. Uh, depending on demand, we might even offer three services, one on Saturday night and two on Sunday morning. So we're just not really sure what to plan for, thus the need for the questionnaire that you will be getting. And um, we'd really appreciate if you could fill that out and get it to us in a timely fashion. But I mean, really kind of for a moment here, think how cool it will sound to tell people that your church is now holding three services. All right, whatever the case, uh, we just ask you to be patient. Any plan we come up with will not be ideal. And again, it's not going to be agreeable to everyone. In the end, uh, the church leaders here know that uh, we have to take our responsibilities seriously and that we have to provide a safe environment for all. And some things may seem a bit fascist and probably are. And some things will seem a bit uh, lax and probably are. Uh, but all this is hopefully going to be temporary, short-lived, and so we will, um, through this time, uh, lean on the side of caution the best we can. All right, so to be clear, we are not meeting this Sunday, May 10th. Our first Sunday back, as things look now, will be May 17th. And even for May 17th, we are not exactly encouraging everyone to come. Now, we're not discouraging. We're just not trying to make a big deal out of this. This is not to be seen as a grand reopening. And the first hundred people into the door will get a $400 gift card at Best Buy. So come, come, come and bring all your friends. You know, not, not exactly the case. Rather, this is an opportunity for those who feel comfortable in assuming the risks and are willing to play by the rules. If not, that's okay. Take advantage of the live streaming. Some of you will relate to what Kerry Warren recently told me. Better to wear a mask and meet than to not meet. I thought she said that well. Uh, others, of course, will feel a little bit differently, and, and that's okay. So we believe that the sacrifices and the adjustments here are manageable, um, and obviously they're not permanent, but they may, they may hold true with us for a while. But we do believe that they're manageable. The worship service itself is going to be somewhat different as well. It will be shorter for a couple reasons. One is because the kids will remain with the adults and a shorter service will make that more manageable. And with the likelihood of two services, uh, well, we just need some time in between to clean. So look for the email, fill out the online form. Uh, the information you provide really is vital for our planning purposes. The slideshow videos, uh, we will send another one out for this Sunday, May 10th, and that will be the end of it, unless, of course, there is in the weeks to come a surge in this virus and the governor imposes another stay-at-home order. And we hope that's not the case, but if so, we will revert back to, um, to that practice. At some point, I need to talk to you about finances, but I'll say that for another time, maybe another video, um, maybe next week. Not sure, but I do need to give you an update on where we are at regarding church funds. All right, well, thank you for watching, and um, that's it for now.